Why, hello there, YouTube universe. This is uh, Mr. Hello Chicago, a.k.a. Kyle Hedlund, and uh, welcome to my introduction video. Now, uh, before I begin, the reason for the introduction video is that uh, recently I won a contest over uh, on YouTube by Your Enigma. By the way, thank you for choosing my name at, through the randomizer. I don't want to make people jealous, but, you know, it's, it, it's just a really cool thing. But um, aside from that, uh, I definitely... I definitely want to share uh, this introduction video because when I kind of like get all these replies from YouTube that says, oh, you're so lucky you get to do stuff like this, I kind of realize that not a lot of people kind of know who I am. I mean, yeah, I mean, I'm a writer and everything, but um, not a lot of people kind of know know me through the, through the internet as much. So I kind of decided maybe to make an introduction video, you know, just to introduce myself a little bit. Um... So, I'm not going to share all the information with you, with you because, you know, I want to protect my identity and others and don't want serial killers to, to track me down, which, by the way... Okay, good, there's no serial killers anywhere. I just want to make sure. Just, just, just want to make sure. But yeah, uh, anyways, uh, my name is Kyle Hedlund. I live in the, one of the suburbs of Chicago. I'm not going to tell you which suburb, but, uh, but don't worry, I'm in the Chicagoland area. And, you know, I, I have easy access to the city, so... Kind of look for me around there. But anyways, um, essentially, you know, I, I'm kind of like, uh, I'm somewhat of a food writer. You know, I, uh, I own two websites. Uh, one, of the, one of them is uh, Journey of a Chef, which kind of talks about the culinary world and my experiences as a culinary student as well as uh, some of the issues behind it. Uh, but not to really deter it, but just, just to inform people about it, you know, in, in case they want to become... Uh, chef or entering into the industry, what to expect, and, you know, all the trends here and there. Uh, the second one is the Brony Chef Project, which is kind of like a new um, a, a new culinary project I'm doing uh, that I've been doing for quite some time now. Uh, it, it's kind of like experimenting with, um, because with a lot of chefs doing it nowadays, it, it's mostly just through sensory pleasure, you know, just for like presentation through the, the eyes, the taste, the the smell and etc. But what I want to do is I want to take us take the flavors, the characteristics of those flavors, and emphasize it. So when you taste that garlic, uh, it's like really bitter, and you can feel that bitterness, and it's kind of like resembling an old man. So you might say that I'm taking characters from a story, transforming it into food, and let the food tell the story. So it's kind of like um, kind of like a literary kind of. Uh, dining experience but you know it's still under development it's probably going to change a lot it's as it's going along and chances are it won't be as popular but you know i i really want to you know be the first one to do it you know <laughs> i am the first one to do it aside from anyone else i mean come on i mean really really <laughs> but enough about that um what i like to do on the side is i like to read in fact i actually uh Got here uh, one of my favorite books of all time, uh, Kitchen Confidential. I have to tell you something. This is my favorite book of all time. I've read this three times. I I loved it every single time, and you know it's just a really great story. This is kind of like a newer copy, uh, and uh, my original copy was like destroyed. Uh, I don't know what happened to it, but I had like all these annotations in there, and I and you know I just kind of like been highlighting stuff, and it's like a complete mess, but. I think my dad borrowed it, and, you know, he never bothered to return it. Nah. But, you know, I'm, I'm okay with that. You know, I still have this copy, which is the annotated copy from uh, from Anthony Bourdain's own notes. So, really good book. Uh, but, aside from that, I also uh, just finished um, Behind the Kitchen Door, which is another favorite book of mine. Uh, it's from this organization called uh, Rock Chicago, which I'll get into a little bit later. But, um... It's it's just a really good book that I've been reading, and you know I, I'm always into the nonfiction um, culinary literature for for quite a for quite a while, and um, and this is kind of like one of the books I really do enjoy reading, and uh, and essentially you know I, I, although there is something missing from this book, but you know I, that's that's just unrelatable. But um, aside from that. I also like to listen to a lot of music. Uh, I, I have like a couple favorite bands. One of them is uh, Daft Punk. Uh, what I like to do nowadays is that I'm collecting vinyl. So, uh, so far I have Daft Punk, I have Viva La Vida, 
I have the Speed of Darkness from uh, Flogging Molly and uh, Velvet Underground for some reason. But, um, yeah, I, uh, I like to go to the city a lot. That's, that's kind of like a very big thing for me because um, at my job, I'm not going to tell you where the job is, but, um, but during my job, I do have two days off of the week that is consistent, which is Wednesdays and Thursdays. And chances are, uh, you're probably going to be seeing me more around there because aside from that, I work for an uh, organization known as the Restaurant Opportunity Center of Chicago, or Rock Chicago for short. And it's a big national organization that's trying to change the restaurant industry for the better. Really, really a great group. A, a great group for anyone. And uh, I'm somewhat the creative director. I kind of gave myself that title. So, and, you know, because it's a member-led organization that's um, planning to change the restaurant industry for the better in order to eliminate racial discrimination, wage theft, and... A lot of other bad things that kind of, like, no paid sick days. And, you know, if you don't want germs in your food, I highly suggest that you actually uh, participate in it. Seriously, it is. I'm kind of whispering to you right now. <laughs> uh, I, I kind of like to do jokes like that. I have a very weird sense of humor. But um, aside from that, you know, I do work for, for Rock, and I'm kind of, like, doing a few media projects with them right now. You know, I... Uh, we're planning to do a new radio station, you know, re really exciting for, for, and if you want to know information like that, I highly suggest you check, check out the Prometheus um, radio project, which is kind of like a, a new project that's going to be happening, and, you know, it, it's going to open up a lot of airwaves, and essentially the mo motto is, is that to free the airwaves of corporate greed, which I highly agree with, you know, I, I, I really like it. Uh, I really like messages. To be honest, I'm somewhat of a hipster. Uh, I, I'm a big fan of localism. I support local businesses. I, I'm i essentially, you know, trying to eat more organics. You know, I actually lost a lot of weight <laughs> over over the past few months because I've been eating a lot more healthier and, and everything like that. But enough about, about that. Um, essentially, other, other things I like to do? Well, for one thing, I'm actually a brony. As you can tell by my by my wristband here, and also the Rainbow Dash, which, <laughs> well, she's not my favorite character, but, you know, she's really cool. But other than that, I'm a, I'm a brony, yeah, and, you know, I'm not a, I'm ashamed of it. I mean, come on, it's a really cool show. Um, and for those of you who don't know what a brony is, a brony is essentially an, a male adult fan, such as myself, myself, blah. <laughs> By the way, I'm doing all this in one take, so, you know, expect a lot of mistakes. But... Um, but essentially what it is, is that it's a male adult fan, such as myself, who actually watched the show My Little Pony Friendship is Magic. And it's, a, uh, and you know, a lot of people are a little bit skeptical, like, why is this 21 year old man watching a show for seven year old girls? But I'm here to tell you that it's a good show. I, I really enjoy the show, especially like the first season. And, uh, I, I probably tell about my uh, story, you know, may maybe some other time. But um, essentially, I really love this. I love the story. I love the show. I love the fan content, especially, especially the musical artist of Living Tombstone, of uh, Your Enigma, and a lot of, and Mando Pony, and, you know, there a lot of other artists. So check them out on YouTube. They're, they're really a talented bunch. I, I really, I really like their stuff. But um, essentially... Aside from that, um, yeah, I, I, part of that, um, of my broniness, as I like to call it, is that I, um, manage a website known as the Brony Chef Project. Now, if you're not really familiar with the Brony Chef Project, what I do is, is that I take the characters from the show, and I essentially create recipes based on the characters. So, for example, um, one of the entries is Pinkie Pie, which where she is like the hyperactive one who's always like bouncing up and down, always pink and giggly and everything. And what I did is I made these uh, tiny little truffles that uh, I coated them in pink sugar. Uh, it's essentially a white chocolate mocha raspberry um, raspberry uh, truffle that, that is uh, rolled around in pink sugar, which I actually learned from uh, Chef Gail Gand uh, some time ago uh, <laughs> when I met her. By the way, I also do like, I also uh, met a lot of famous people over the years. I uh, met Tony Hawk, I met Gil Gann, I met like a lot of famous chefs and 
et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. But aside from that, um, what I what I also do is what what where was I? Oh yeah, uh, what I basically do for the website is I create these recipes and you know it, a lot of people like them. You know, I mean it's kind of small right now. You know, it's only like a few hundred views over like the past like ten months. Yeah, I'm not not exactly the most popular guy on the internet, but I. But I really do like it. I I, I do like it uh, once in a while. But um, but yeah, essentially, you know, I like it. And um, aside from that, uh, I I do kind of like a lot of other things. Uh, you know, all my other interests. But you know, I, I don't want to get too long with this video. You know, you're probably bored of me like just kind of like talking about like what I like and everything like that. But you know, uh, but let's get to the real real meat and potatoes of this video. Um, what I really want to do is introduce myself to the YouTube vid universe. You know, there, there's like a lot of people who, um, who kind of like started out this way, you know, start with an introduction video. In fact, I actually remember seeing Shane Dawson's uh, introduction video one time and it was pretty short and, you know, it's, it's kind of like, you know, not, not good quality and, it, you know, I, I, I like Shane Dawson, you know, he, he's a really great YouTuber and, um, Essentially, what I like to do is, you know, just, just essentially kind of get started, you know, just, just to at least show what I do, and, uh, yeah, and, um, oh yeah, there was also one more thing, I also do like to drink beer, don't worry, I'm 21, I'm 21, it, it, it's all cool, it's all cool, I mean, you know, it's, <laughs> I am, I am of legal age, um, but essentially, you know, uh, what I really want to do is, I actually want to make somewhat of a, YouTube channel for this, uh, not just for like my own personal use, but also maybe for, for some other things, you know, like maybe do a Brony Chef Project uh, cooking show, huh, 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 it, it, you know, do you think that maybe that might be a good idea, especially for the Brony community, I mean, you know, they, they might like it, you know, I'm, I'm just saying, I'm saying, and you know, maybe do some book reviews, maybe uh, do some sort of culinary show, Maybe uh, just kind of do vlogs like this, you know, just just uh, show show you what I'm doing uh, with the websites. Um, but yeah, uh, essentially, if you want to contact me about, you know, what you think of this video, what I should do next, um, you can find me on Facebook, which is on which is Kyle Headland, obviously. Uh, you can also follow me on Twitter, which is at Chef Cairo. You know, uh, by the way, uh, Chef Cairo is my internet persona. You know, I I kind of use him sometimes, but. But, you know, he's, he's kind of okay, you know. <laughs> but, um, aside from that, uh, I, uh, I also uh, do have the two websites. If you want to check out Journey of Chef, go to www.chefcairo.blogspot.com. You can also check out the Brony Chef Project, which is www.bronychefproject.blogspot.com. I'll probably leave a little link, little uh, thing below, you know, to, just to make sure. Um, just make sure that it's all there. And, yeah, that's mostly just it for, for the video. I just wanted to really introduce myself and, you know, just see about the YouTube community, what the YouTube community kind of like thinks of me so far. And see what kind of videos that you actually really want to see. So, just leave a comment and, well, uh, le let's see what we can do. Alright, this is uh, Kyle Headland signing off.